What's going on guys? Chuck here with another awesome Blu-ray purchase today. I'm going to take a look at a new special edition, special release. I'm not quite sure. It's one of the Vin Hunter Syndrome special lines of something um, I'm sure not very well known. Only people who follow sleeves would uh, know this. And actually, I didn't really know about it until I saw it was for sale. And I think I did read about it in a, a great book, Sleeves White Express, that I've mentioned before. And that is, it's a Michael Finley's, I'm sure I can show this, The Flesh Trilogy. Um, I'm not really familiar with this. Um, I, you know, I've i read a little bit about you know, Michael Finley, I'm sure, in the, you know, great, the, the great book, again, I've said Sleeves White Express, which really dealt a lot with uh, exploitation filmmakers throughout the 60s and 70s. And... You know, I saw this, you know, presented through Vinegar Syndrome, and I believe this is actually from the strip picks and combination of something, something weird through Vinegar Syndrome. It's a big thing. Um, and this has kind of looked interesting to me. One, this is a great presentation, but I'll get more of that in a second. Um, and it's it's sleazy. And as anyone, as I've mentioned plenty of times before on this channel, um, I enjoy my sleaze. I do like my sleaze. Uh, and this one really seems sleazy. <laughs> I wasn't quite sure I was going to pick it up. I was kind of sad on it for a minute. Then the more I, you thought about it, this is just screaming at me to get it. Because like I said, I didn't know much about it. And I mean, I, I'd heard of the Flash Trilogy, again, for reading the Sleazy Express. Express. Um, but I don't know the, the whole roots of it. Um, but yeah, this has screamed at me to get it. It just, as much like the Doris Wishman said, you know, uh, you go sometime back, it's kind of the same thing. I'd heard of Doris Wishman, but those, I wasn't sure, those sets were just so damn beautiful. And what was on them, just like, you want to have it. And this is kind of the same set. They did such a good job with this. This this presentation. There's a lot to be said for presentation on the physical media. Um, if it's something I'm, you know, I'm usually I'm not one to blind buy too much, but I've done a lot more lately, mainly for because of uh, labels like Vinegar Syndrome. Uh, and Saren, who put out these fantastic, especially Vinegar Syndrome. Vinegar Syndrome knocks out of the park so many times. Um, but they make these great presentations, and it's like, you know what? I'm not sure what that is, but that's caught my attention, and I really want to get that, and this is it. So, the Flesh Trilogy can uh, change the three films, The Touch of Her Flesh, The Curse of Her Flesh, and The Kiss of Her Flesh. Um, and... You know, from what I gather, let's see if I can pull this out here a little bit. Uh, see, this is Michael Finley. So he's playing a character uh, named Richard Jennings, who apparently uh, he's a happily married man, from what I'm g gathering from the, the back here, and a little bit of red, who finds his wife having an affair. And somehow gets into an accident after the fact he's totally disfigures one eye and now he hates women and so he's decided he's just going to kill all these promiscuous women that's his thing now uh it's like the roots of a serial killer and apparently we have three films consisting of him trying to go out and sadistically kill these uh amorous women uh so, you know, that's basically your premise, and that's what I've gotten from all three films. Um, what I also find interesting, and these were made in, like, 1967 and 68. What I also find interesting, looking at the run times in these, the original film is only, like, 74 minutes long. That's, like, an hour and 15 minutes, roughly. And the other two films go, like, 67, 65, not even, just over an hour long. These are very short films. Uh, I guess they're black and white, too. Um... And so, you know, that's going to be a quick watch. <laughs> um, so, yeah, again, it just, it just, everything seems, you know, screams out to me, check it out. It's sleazy. It seems dirty. It's underground. It's quick. Um, so why not check it out? And I'm, I'm glad I did. So here we go. And this is a great, this is very similar. A lot of their, their presentation they've had for, uh, I'm trying to think, almost like the Gorgo. Box. It was kind of the same thing. It's a slip box with some uh, treats inside. Um, the funny thing about this is that when I ordered it, I mistakenly ordered the standard edition. So I just got the Blu-ray itself. Um, 
And I was a little disappointed because I could have swore that I had gotten the whole, you know, or actually I used to say, I thought that there was more to it. And sure enough, it was. And I just had to look at, oops, I made a mistake over standard edition. So this is where I want to give kudos to Vinegar Syndrome's customer service because they are fantastic. I've dealt with them a few times uh, with some issues, mostly issues I've made, mistakes I've made. Um, and they are so quick to respond. You know, in this case, I they responded to me the next, early the next morning after I left the email. And by within an hour of that email, they had my problem solved. Well, basically, I reached out to them and said, hey, I made a mistake. Is there any way I can, you know, pay the difference to get the um, slip case or whatever? And, um, or do I just need to buy a whole new thing, whatever? And they're like, well, normally we wouldn't do that, but since it was order mistake, we will just charge you an extra 10 bucks to cover the uh, slips, you know, the, the extra special edition stuff, um, plus shipping and handling. Or you can just get it, we'll add it to your, you know, uh, there. we'll add it to your your Black Friday order, which, you know, hasn't even started. There's some, they're just assuming I'm going to purchase on Black my, a Black Friday sale. And they're not wrong, I probably will. <laughs> but I just love that they were going to assume that. I went ahead and I'm going uh, to get it right away. And they shipped and got here within a day. And normally they wouldn't do that, they said, but, you know, they were very kind to make that exception. And I do appreciate it. Like I, said, I have never had a problem with Vinegar Sentinel's customer service. They are prompt. They are polite. They will do whatever it takes to help you sort out any issues. So, Kudos to them. I've never really dealt with any other company's customer service as much as I have with Vinger Syndrome. And again, it's not because of them. It's usually because of mistakes I've made. Or the most I dealt with was in the middle of a move because I had my Black Friday orders from last year. And I was worried that they were going to get shipped to the right place because I was in the process of the whole move. But again, Vinegar Syndrome customer service, top-notch, fantastic. So after all being said, I did get the slip box. Um, so here's this you see the disc inside um let's see i gotta be careful because so here's the box <laughs> the back of it with the list of the titles uh you see there's this is a bit naughty and let's see here again how do i do this so here is the slip cover that comes with it and again covering up the some of the naughty parts <laughs> And the back of that slip cover. Here's the Blu-ray and all your features, all three films. I think most of the special features on here are a lot of commentaries. Uh, films on two discs, three films on two discs. Uh, In Touch of Her Flesh is on disc one, while the Curse of Her Flesh and The Kiss of Her Flesh are on the second disc. We have reverse artwork. Let me check this to make sure I think we're okay. <laughs> so here's the back of this. It's really hard sometimes with uh, these sleazier titles to put them on here because you never know what they're going to show. Um, and you gotta be really careful, obviously. Um, thankfully it's not as bad as, you know, when I was doing the manual boxing, because I had a lot of editing I had to do on that. Um, so, it also comes with a booklet. Um, I'm not sure how you feel about bare butts, so I'm just like, kind of cover this up a bit. <laughs> but here's the, the booklet. And the booklet inside is basically, you know, uh, some synopsis and essays and writers in all three films and, you know, the director himself. If I can... So, here we go. Just like the opening page some more and you know it's a lot of write-ups some a lot of pictures uh, some stuff I probably can't show stuff I know I can't show <laughs> some other articles so it's an interesting little book and it's a pretty good you know size book it's not too thin but this is really really fascinating um again one of the reasons why i like vinegar syndrome so much is that they like to preserve a lot of this stuff that most people or most companies probably would and they wouldn't think twice about preserving you know adult themed or you know films i mean i know they're very good on 
exploitation, and obviously, you know, it's exploitation in this case. Um, but some of this lost stuff, that, and this is also courtesy of Something Weird. I know Something Weird curates a lot of this kind of stuff, so I'm glad that Vinegar Syndrome partners with them to um, put out a lot of this great lost um, films. That was a lost, but but chance to, you know, preserve these films. I think we mentioned the first time he put on Blu-ray. Um, I think Something Weird probably had these on DVD at one point. But this is a you know the take of the care and, and make a nice presentation for films like these that would normally just been forgotten about is really cool, um, and I'm glad I picked these up. I don't think else, it's a, it's preserving a bit of history uh, for a filmmaking time that has long since passed and will never come again. Uh, that Wild West, if you will, um, I was Wild West or not, but it's, you know it's more the it's wild. <laughs> The filmmakers that just you know kind of do what you know they were more just making movies do what they want to do, the, the studio working for them, you know, the independent kind of thing, and just put out whatever they wanted without worrying about pleasing the masses, if you will. Just want to put out what they wanted. Um, not that you weren't trying to please the masses by putting out sex and smut, because you know that will sell. <laughs> Nevertheless, it's good to see these kind of things uh, being preserved by vinegar syndrome. I've rambled enough. <sighs> that is it for me. So, if you enjoy this, click thumbs up, share, subscribe, leave me a comment below. Let me know if you've picked up the Flesh Trilogy. And if you're familiar with any of these films, uh, if you've even heard of these films, like I said, I was not aware of them um, until I just recently read The Sleeves Away Express, which is a fantastic book if you're into uh, exploitation films, the history of exploitation films on 42nd Street um, during the grimiest of times when it was at its peak, if you will. It's a fascinating read. I highly recommend it. Um, and I think if I can, I will put a link to, the, to to an Amazon link to it below for that book because that's where I got it from. It's it's great. I highly recommend reading if you're interested, interested in this. But that's where I heard of this for the first time and you know other you know Doris Wishman's collection and her stuff uh, and other you know uh, exploitation, sex exploitation uh, directors and, and films. That's a great source and it's a great piece of history. Um, or just say hi. I'll always take hi. So until next time, this is Chuck saying I will see you on the other side.